110 in the Shade was adapted from N. Richard Nash's play The Rainmaker. It's a romantic comedy set against the sweeping landscape of the American West. It's about Lizzie, whose family is living on a drought-ridden ranch, and her dreams have run dry, just like the drought has uh, made the fields barren. And an irresistible con man shows up named Bill Starbuck, and he's selling the promise of rain. And Lizzie has to decide whether he's a con man or does he hold the key to everything she desires? One represents danger and unpredictability, and that's Starbuck, and the other represents comfort and family, and that's Vile. And both appeal strongly to Lizzie. And with Kevin McAllister as Vile, I think he'll bring great humanity and dignity to the role of this broken sheriff who des who's desperate for love, but too proud to let Lizzie know how much he cares for her. As far as Starbuck goes, Ben Crawford is a find. He is wildly original and, like a jazz musician, improvises tunes that range from heroic to helpless to spellbinding to impulsive. He's really going to keep Lizzie on the edge of her seat and the audience, too. I'm just thrilled about making this discovery of Ben. We were just knocked out by his audition. And then Tracy, who's a hometown favorite. I mean, he, she brings such a wonderful authenticity to Lizzie's um, love-starved heroine. And she radiates romantic yearning, fiery anger, and also broad slapstick comedy while melting you with her gorgeous soprano. So we are really in for the kind of triple threat performance that you want from your leading lady. Well, I like to describe my approach as a choreographer as more of a behaviorist. Um, I like to dig into the characters and how they behave inside of the circumstances that they're presented with. So I think it's going to be a, um, a real interesting uh, uh, discovery to find out what the drought has to do with how these people behave. The lack of water, the, the fact that they're thirsty. I think that's going to be something really interesting to explore. So my set designer Michael Schweikart describes the opening moments this way. The sun is in position one, sitting low on the horizon, two-thirds hidden by the upstage ramp ground row. It is an early sunrise sky of a sweltering hot day. Townspeople will get water from the spigot on the water tower, their water ration for the day. The sun moves in the sky, and by the end of the music, the sun has reached position two, which is low slung in the sky. It is 6.22 a.m. We're going to really give the sense that the town gets their water ration and then that's it for the day. That's all they get. And then they have to move through that particular day with that amount of water. I think it makes people squirrely. It makes you a little crazy, you know? So um, I think when Starbucks shows up, everybody's a little desperate. <laughs>